Assalamualaikum, my dear uh, class 9 business study student, how are you? I hope inshallah all of you are well, I am your HF miss, I am also well. Uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the last class we have discussed uh, a new chapter, uh, I think you have remembered this chapter, this chapter name is Afforestation. Uh, we have discussed in this uh, new chapter uh, section 1 part 1 now I am discussing with you about section 1 in part 2 ok in this class we have discussed with several types of forest in our country and their resources ok so in this session part 2 we have discussed with several types of forest and I think uh, so you, you have uh, introduced with some forest also so we have discussed uh, about its resources in this class now you may have a um, question that uh, what is the resources of the forest and uh, the, the resources of the wood. wood is the main resource of the forest uh, besides wood others are shards hags um, even forest animals these are also resources of forest uh, then you you may have a question uh, how shrubs and herbs uh, uh, it is uh, it can act as the resources of the forest for example bamboo its sharp herbs in case of um, uh, can it is it, it is uh, it is included in sharps and these are when they are in, or they, all of these have uh, several types of uh, industrial uh, they access industrial raw materials for that reasons, not only wood, shrubs, herbs, uh, even forest animals, uh, forest uh, leaves, all of these are included in forest resources. Okay. Now we come to first one: types and characters characters of hilly forest. Hilly forest is situated in the east and southeastern region of Bangladesh. It is the half of the total forest area of our country so hilly forest is the largest forest of our country and uh, if we consider um, um, the um, um, area of the total area of the forest in our country it is the half in uh, according to uh, if you compare with total area okay and who is districts that are included in this hilly forest these are Rangamati, Cox's Bazaar Bandarbans, Sealet, Hobiganj, and Molevaj. Main trees of hilly forester. Main trees of hilly forester Gorjon, Rajkorui, Chapalish, Telshur, Korui, Gamar, Champa, Jarul, Shegu, and Wild Mango. It is the main source of various types of bamboos such as Borak, Muli, Ura, Moral, Nala, etc. I, uh, in my experience, I have known that in this hilly forest, their main resource is the uh, shagun wood. It is a, uh, it is a valuable wood. Also, gorjon, raskuri, chaparish. These uh, woods are mainly used in um, to make furniture purposes. So even it is used in uh, construction purposes. So in this hilly forest, I think uh, uh, shagun wood is the main resource in this. A forest and if you consider about bamboo several bamboo uh, several types of in the paper industries that are um, that are made on the basis of this bamboos because uh, uh, if from these bamboos they get uh, they uh, get high quality we they get or we get high quality of paper so for getting high quality paper uh, industry use bamboos uh, as raw materials okay then uh, animals uh, now we come to the point about animals which animals uh, they live in the hilly forest zone and uh, that is that is uh, elephant uh, monkey pig bear wild hen fox tiger etc wild animals live in this forest besides this uh, it is common the various types of birds and insects that are found in the hilly forest region and the area of this forest is 13.16 lakh hectares so in this um, portion you have to know 
uh, the, uh, the name of the trees and which uh, part uh, this uh, forest is located such as it is uh, it, it is located in the south east and southeastern region of uh, bangladesh uh, several uh, uh, mcq question for mcq question it is important or uh, for also for creative question uh, you may get a creative question the, um, uh, such as a uh, describe a forest that is located in east and southeastern regions so you have, if you do not know the hilly forest is located in east and southeastern region you you, you could um, uh, get uh, you could not give your uh, proper answer so it is important for you and also important which districts and which trees and which animals they live and grow in this um, forest okay and it is also important to know that it is the half of the total forest of our country then i will come and go to another forest this is plain land forest the forest of greater dhaka tangail uh, rangpur rashahi and kumilla is called plain land forest here uh, if you consider it dhaka to kumilla there is a long distance so dhaka to rashahi rangpur tangail there is a dhaka tangail it um, their their distance is uh, too low but dhaka to rampur dhaka to rashtra dhaka to kumilla it has uh, more distances but in this uh, plain land forest they do not uh, if you consider about hilly forest it it, it is a just a, uh, just belong to a large area but a plain land forest it is just scattered some uh, some area you can find it dhaka tangal region some area of forest you can find it rashai region or small area you can find it kumila region and all of this uh, scattered forest we can echo uh, united we can say it plain land forest but it doesn't mean that this forest start from dhaka and it just ends in rashai or it just ends in kumila no it's a scattered it's a scattered forest and all types of uh, scattering forest unitedly we can say it plain land forest and and you also you also may know that uh, dhaka tangal forest we we, uh, we call this forest is madhupur bhawal forest okay and uh, so these are plain land forest the main trees of this forest we all of you know that it's a uh, main land for uh, main trees of this forest are shal and gajari besides korui uh, rain tree jarul etc trees also grow in this forest but due to the presence of residences near the plain lands the human pressure is great in this forest it is obvious human pressure is great in this forest because it is just uh, located besides the human residences so uh, it is a uh, people all uh, we are uh, people have always tendency to cut forest and to use this forest land for their agriculture purposes so natural forest is decreasing day by day in the main meantime in many areas the afforestation has become empty if you consider it uh, kumila region or if you consider it i think rashe region you do not uh, find uh, uh, more areas of the plain land forest it become empty the government now in this area the government initiatives are being being taken uh, for social forestry with the partnership of people social afforestation is being established in some areas the shal wood of this forest i have um, i told you in the previous time the shal wood of this forest is very high quality the shal wood is used in constructing houses making furniture and in other construction works the wild animals of this forest i think uh, the uh, wild it is possible to find any wild animals no no uh, the wild animals of this forest become almost extinct at present some number of small number of tigers deer monkeys snakes doves magpie robin and martin are found in some places i think um, you you do not i think you do not find tiger or deer in uh, madhupur or bhawal region i think it uh, the probability of finding this type of animals is very low i think and the total land of area of this forest is uh, just only 1.23 lakh hectares okay and then come another forest it is our um, well
come another forest it's a well known forest mango mangrove forest or uh, we can say it um, sundarban forest this forest is uh, located in the southwestern regions of bangladesh every day this forest is um, washed out by tidal water of sea so it is called saline water forest uh, the districts uh, that are included in this mangrove forest these are khulna bagerhat and satkhira are known as mangrove the main plateau of this forest i think all of you know that it is um, sundari that's why it is called sundarban forest other important plants are or trees are gawa goran poshur telshur keora bain gulpata thikken etc the most of the plants have upward facing aerial roots so they can take oxygen for respiration here they have aerial roots it is just uh, uh, their roots just um, upward facing uh, most, um, uh, generally trees uh, roots it uh, it is uh, just uh, it is um, located in the uh, under the soil roots are actually spread under the soil but in case of uh, mangrove forest their roots just uh, facing upwards and their aerial roots uh, you can find it uh, above the soil and just uh, like my finger it just uh, uh, face upward and 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 from this they can take oxygen for respiration okay and for that for that reason uh, people uh, if you consider about our plain land forest uh, re, uh, residence pressure this forest they get more people or residence pressure because it is uh, located near the uh, residential area but in in case of mangrove forest people do not e willing to go in this forest be because of their aerial roots the tips of this aerial roots it is too sharp and when if you have a bare foot it can puncture in your uh, foot for that and, and this forest uh, you can find this forest is always muddy or slippery for that reason uh, general people they do not willing to go this forest more and th this is the main reason of mangrove forest and if you go in this forest uh, you have to wear uh, boots uh, and also other precautions uh, to prevent their uh, roots uh, aerial roots okay and then come the great royal bengal tiger this is our uh, national animal live in this forest there also live panther deer monkey python various types of birds and insects in this forest even crocodiles and other aquatic animals live in rivers and canals of sundarban every year a large amount of honey and wax is found from this forest the most largest and resourceful mangrove forest in the world is sundarban there is no doubt it is the most resourceful uh, forest in our country because we get uh, a large amount of honey and oax in the from this forest and their woods um, such as sunduri keora gawa goran these are also uh, they have several uses in our domestic purposes uh, and they are, for that reason it is the most resourceful forest uh, the total area of this forest is 6000 square kilometer so if you consider about hilly forest it is too small if you compare with hilly forest it is just only 6000 square kilometers and then come uh, another forest it is a rural forest there is about 270000 hectares of land in bangladesh that belong to the rural forest people create this forest near the households ponds rivers and other water bodies that means uh, uh, our village that are surrounded in several types of trees so, and for the, all of these are included in rural forest for that reason the area of the rural forest is um, large it is 270000 hectares and then come another this is social forest what will be the so social forest rural forest we know that uh, uh, we, uh, if we plant uh, uh, trees uh, besides our um, households the ponds rivers all of these are included in rural um, forest but what will be the social forest now come now we discuss now i'm discussing it with you people are di directly involved in the management of social forest the afforestation program which is ex executed for social welfare 
through willingly participation of the people is called social afforestation. The people are participating directly in this program are getting benefit. I think now I come now I think you have seen more long trips besides all roads, rail lines, the highway roads of Bangladesh. I think uh, I also observe it. I think you also observe it when we just uh, go to um, uh, have, uh, highway roads uh, uh, for traveling purposes. We find uh, more long trails besides all roads, highway line, highway roads, highway lines, even in uh, uh, rail lines. Okay, all of these are included in social afforestation. The cooperative based program our programs are being operated regarding tree plantation and maintenance. Okay, there is cooperative programs. These are control this type of forest how people who are members of this cooperative system or directly involved in this program they uh, actually plant these trees and they have the duty to uh, proper maintenance of these trees as for example uh, during a storm uh, you can find some trees can break down or even uh, some uh, domestic animals they can uh, destroy some trees but cooperative people who are you know, directly involved in this cooperative program they have the duty to protect these plants okay and these people who are directly involved in this program they get benefit by selling woods okay so they plant these trees they maintenance these trees and they get benefit by selling woods and for that reason people are very much uh, 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 people get very much interest to plant these trees and to maintenance these trees because uh, after some years they can benefit by selling woods and that um, so necessity of social afforestation I have just copied it from your textbook. It is uh, to supply wood for household construction and furniture and to fulfill the lacking of fuel wood. Now we know that in villages, uh, fuel wood is very important for their cooking purposes. So in these uh, types of um, trees, they can supply their fuel wood, uh, such like uh, leaves and uh, branches. They use it for their fuel purposes, and uh, they was this wood. Uh, they you can use it for household construction purposes. For afforestation in fallow lands, households, roads, railways, barns, bank of canals, bills and rivers, and various organizations, and to conserve environment is the main important issue. It conserves our environment. It protects us from global warming. Okay. To engage the poor in works and to remove poverty. Some poor people in our villages, they do not get um, any jobs. Okay, they just pass that time, yeah, yeah, idle, uh, pass that time, just they do not have uh, any work. So they can engage uh, in works in this uh, forestation, uh, forestation purposes or for these cooperative co programs. Yes, so to engage the poor in, in works and to remove poverty. To create forest in feed, vegetables, fruits, herbal and recreation. It's also important because of, uh, if you have recreation, it has important issue about recreation. And uh, herbal, if you plant origin tree, it can act as a herbal medicine. If you can uh, plant uh, horitoki or amloki tree, they can uh, have a, uh, herb, uh, act as a herbal medicine. So the, this, uh, if you plant this type of uh, trees, it create. It is not only <coughs> uh, used as feed. It is also used as fruits, herbal, and recreation. To supply forest produce raw materials to rural small cottage industries and create employment for people. These um, small cottage industries they use either bamboos to prepare some domestic um, uh, things or they use some um, branches, some woods to pre prepare uh, some types of uh, shopping items and in that case uh, these um, woods or these plants they can act as raw materials um, for uh, small cottage industries. 
to maintain a natural balance to prevent environment from pollution and uh, desertification it is important issue mm. more trees it means we can get more oxygen we can get more pure environment to fulfill the basic demand of people so it is important it uh, fulfills the basic demand what is the basic demand of the people i think it is food okay and agroforest in the last class we will discuss about agroforestry now till then uh, thank you uh, for everyone mm, and um, and uh, pray for me and goodbye